First we inserted the cannula and completely aspirated any old blood or liquid that was present in it, meaning we removed it from the body. In the range, we started to burn the nodule. First we will burn the base layer. The white cloud you see is the vapor cloud that is forming from the burning of the solid part of the nodule. Once the base clear is burned, we will move a little further and continue to burn the next else. Hello friends, we bring you another live demo from Bhakti Vedanta Hospital, Mira Road. Of course, this is a recorded demo, but it was live at the time we shot it. How we can completely destroy a thyroid nodule with a small needle without any surgery? Of course, this nodule is a bit different because it contains a lot of fluid, meaning it is a solid cystic nodule. There is a solid part, but the cystic or fluid part is also quite significant. Anything that appears completely pitch black on the ultrasound is fluid. So, there is also old liquid, blood or water in this nodule. First, we inserted the cannula and completely aspirated any old blood or liquid from it, meaning we suctioned it out and discarded that water. You will see how this black part is gradually decreasing. As we pull it in the heavy range, this is the classic colloid goiter that we refer to, or the colloid, is indeed the water of that classic colloid. It is very thick, resembling a gelatinous accumulation of water. These nodules are the most difficult to treat even with chemical ablation and thermal ablation as long as this video is running. I want to talk to you about why we are repeatedly showing these recorded demos on this channel. It is because a very famous social media influencer has said that you should talk less on social media and show more work. So we also realize that simply talking about how this technology is good and can be implemented in local anesthesia in the Deccan region where the patient will be hosted there should be no side effects. Well, we are bringing you as many live cases as possible so that you can understand that this is actually authentic. Among all these patients, hardly any are from Mumbai. Most patients have come from different cities and various countries. Now, we have no state left from Kashmir to Kanyakumari where patients have not undergone treatment for nodules. And I am very proud to say that patients have come to us from Mauritius. In fact, from the USA's Silicon Valley, Nigeria and many other countries to whom we have provided the opportunity. This includes many patients from middle-income countries where perhaps this technology is not yet as famous or available. So once all the fluid is drained and only the solid white part remains, we can begin our thermal ablation process. With a small needle antenna, we can completely treat the solid area using microwave rays. As you can see, throughout the procedure, we will continue to talk to the patient so that we can monitor their voice. At any point, we should not do anything that could slightly damage the heat vocal cords as this may lead to a change in the patient's voice. Now that all the water has been completely drained, our team will open this new pack, which includes the antenna, its copper cable, and the connected cold saline pack and tubings and prepare them. First, local anesthesia will be administered, followed by hydrodissection, which will push the nodule away from the surrounding critical structures. This is to ensure that when we perform the ablation, there is no risk of damaging any nearby structures due to heat. We are bringing local anesthesia to both ends to ensure a pain-free procedure, just like before, we will continue to communicate with the patient. It takes anywhere from five minutes to half an hour depending on the procedure. When talking to the patient, this is one procedure where our bonding becomes very good. We learn many things about our patients that we might not normally notice. Doctors, don't talk much in the clinic. We have started to burn the nodule. First, we will burn the base layer. The white cloud you see is a vapor cloud forming from the burning of the solid part of the nodule. Once the base layer is burned, we will gradually move forward and continue to burn the subsequent layers. We will pull the needle while moving laterally and pulling medially, burning the entire line. This entire technique is called the moving short technique. It means pulling back from the lateral side. Once one layer is finished, you move forward. Continue to burn the additional layers. This process will be continued and the burning will keep going. Of course, the hydrodissection we perform initially allows the fluid to be absorbed very quickly. Therefore, the critical structures, such as blood vessels, tend to stick back to the nodule. This requires us to perform hydrodissection repeatedly, and we have to stay a little safe from the margins. Sometimes we keep a bit of distance from the margin, so that if we need to burn them in the second section, we can do so. When the entire nodule shrinks, there is a risk of damaging surrounding structures at the same time. Such injury is not acceptable. 
Of course, in maximum cases, after taking all precautions, there can be voice changes or other nerve damage in 0.3% of cases, which may extend to the blood vessels. These are all the risks. But this is very rare. We can proudly say that we have completed 370 to 400 cases, and hardly in any case have we seen such a change. Yes, I remember one patient who traveled from Suraj, and in that male patient, we definitely observed a voice change. But luckily, two months later when they called, we found out that he had completely recovered. Today, he is able to talk normally and is excited about the upcoming follow-up and treatment for the remaining nodules. Similarly, layer by layer, we will completely eliminate this nodule. Let's show you in a time lapse how this is being done. When we can see that yes, this voter paper has completely covered the nodule, this white cloud is the air from the paper. Then we will be confident that yes, the nodule has completely burned away and the chances of recurrence are negligible. In some cases, as I mentioned, if there is any margin left, it can be easily destroyed in the second section once the entire nodule has shrunk. You will definitely have to travel for one second and there will be a little additional cost as well, but it's certainly better than surgery. Isn't it still better than surgery that the nodule can be completely dead in? Two, sessions with one new deal. Absorb and disappear. You are lying on the local NS, talking to the patient. Let us show you a behind the scenes movement and demonstrate what sounds the patient hears during the procedure when it is normally taking place in the OT as you can hear in this video. In our operating theatres we usually play normal music or nothing at all so that the mind can relax. We typically play kirtan so that patients can easily absorb the mind app in meditation music and feel no apprehension or fear. There won't be any procedure involved since local anesthesia has been administered but patients can still have their mindset on a job and the name of God is invoked so this is the last sequence where the remaining parts of the nodule have been completely burned. We have removed the dewashing agents and other substances. The sister will apply a little compression on the patient's neck for a few minutes and check the patient. If the patient is fine, they can be discharged.